this time let us go with the Bureau of Fire Protection Qualifying Exam. This is an article from topnature.ph. In this presentation, we will focus on how to answer or we will try to answer um, grammar and correct usage as part of the coverage of this qualifying exam. But what is this qualifying written exam? The Bureau of Fire Protection conducts the qualifying written examination for qualified applicants to advance in the next step of the recruitment process, which is the physical agility test. It has the highest percentage points, which is 40% in the overall ranking computation. The conduct of the nationwide Bureau of Fire Protection qualifying exam will be facilitated by the concerned BFP Regional Personal Selection Board with the assistance from the BFP National Headquarters. So we will go with the coverage and the reviewer. First, one of the coverage is general information or current events, which is 30%, vocabulary 15%, synonyms 15%, grammar and correct usage 10%, analogy 10%, reading comprehension 10% and mathematics which is 10%. So in order to access the reviewers just only click the link. So in this presentation we will try to answer grammar and correct usage. Grammar and vocabulary test how good we are we will try to test how good we are at english grammar with this multiple choice test basic grammar this is a basic grammar contains 60 questions with explanations of the correct answer so don't forget to read the instruction before you start after answering a question click the continue button to move to the next one so let's try start quiz Number one, I think you should let your daughter blank over at Judy's. Sleep, to sleep, sleeps, sleeping. Since the subject here, which is I, then it must be um, subsequently, it must be with a plural verb. So sleep. Okay. So, it means to say, let somebody do something. So, I think you should let your daughter sleep over at Judy's. Next, it's not so much his looks I don't like. Blank his inability to listen. It's not so much his looks I don't like. Blank his inability to listen. As... As his inability for his inability more his inability to listen than his it's not much his looks I don't like as his inability let's try as correct use not so much as ah okay if not so much it miss it must be um, subsequent with as not so much as to make clarification so it is not so much his looks i don't like as his inability to listen let's continue although we had tickets we blank for an hour made waiting we made waiting for an hour we were kept waiting for an hour we had made waiting for an hour we have kept waiting for an hour. So since, although we had tickets, so had is already past tense. We, then it should also, we had, um, we made, uh, we had made waiting. So let's try, we had made waiting or we made waiting so let's try either we had made okay it's the answer it's we were kept waiting so it's the passive voice we were kept waiting 
is equals to they kept us waiting so since it has al it's already passed we were little by little the helpless victim sank into the mud what do you mean by little by little unnoticeably hopelessly gradually unexpectedly little by little means gradual okay gradually continue your husband was a bit out of control at the party too blank mildly your husband was a bit out of control at the party to blank mildly to say mildly to put it mildly to tell mildly to take it mildly your husband was a bit out of control to take it let's try take it okay it's put it put something mildly is equals to understate something to sound polite mm put something mildly continue there's no point blank the kids they're old enough to look after themselves there's no point to worry for the kids there's no point to worry about the kids there's no point in worrying for the kids there is no point in worrying about the kids let's try there's no point in worrying in worrying okay check verb patterns a point in doing something worry about something so in doing something so it's worry about something next i blank hadn't been expecting any visitors I was wearing pajamas when the doorbell rang. Due to I hadn't been expecting why I had I hadn't while I hadn't it can be since I hadn't been expecting so I was wearing pajamas when the door since okay since because is equals to because next there are strict rules against students blank their phone mobiles their phones at the school premises they, there are strict rules against students using their phone let's try using okay it's a gerund ing after preposition against if it is an against then therefore the next word would be a gerund with an IN, verb with an ING. It was an experience to be remembered. To be remembered means momentous, noteworthy, rewarding, lasting. If it is to be remembered, let's try noteworthy. Oh, it's lasting. It was an experience to be remembered lasting. It is very um unpleasant to be with someone who constantly makes flippant remarks flippant what do you mean by flippant it is very unpleasant to be with someone who constantly makes flippant remarks serious i think disrespectful or lewd or irritating let's try irritating okay it's disrespectful flip pant means disrespectful continue i can't park here that motorbike is blank the way in the way on the way up the way across the way i think let's try in the way or on the way rather on the way okay it's in the way use in the way to talk about an obstacle oh, okay it should be in the way to talk about obstacle let's continue is that sweater blank your yours you yourself is that your is that sweater yours is that your correct it's that sweater yours next 
Because I have lived in the city since I was 10 years old, I find myself wanting to escape from the humdrum of urban living. Humdrum. Excitement. Fatigue. Monotony. Swiftness. So I have lived, because I have lived with the society since I was 10 years old, I find myself wanting to escape from the humdrum. So humdrum means um, monotony. Let's try. Because wanting to escape from excitement, from fatigue, it can be fatigue from monotony, from sweetness. Let's try monotony. Okay. Humdrum means monotony. Monotony means the usual routinary. I'd like to change hundred dollars blank pesos, please. I'd like to change one hundred dollars by pesos into pesos with pesos from pesos into. Let's try. Okay, because change one hundred dollars into pesos. Let's continue. If your invitations are met with repeated blank, you should just leave him alone. If your invitations are met with repeated, I think, denial, with negatives, hypothesis, rebuffs, blunts. Let's try repeated negatives. Uh, okay, it's rebuff. Revuff means blunt refusal. Revuff means blunt refusal. <coughs> the actress was extremely reticent about her personal affairs. Reticent. The actress was extremely reticent about her personal affairs. Guarded. Conscious. Gushing. Possessive personal affairs i think it's was extremely reticent about her personal affairs i think it's possessive let's try reticent ah okay it's guarded reticent means guarded next your shirt is dirty i don't think it will blank for the wedding your shirt is dirty I don't think it will blank for the wedding. It will do for the wedding. It will present for the wedding. It will make for the wedding. It will wear for the wedding. I think it will make. Ah, okay. It will do. It will do means it will be satisfactory. Your shirt is dirty. I don't think it will do for the wedding means it will be satisfactory. Next. 